Hey everyone, Tismal here, and today we're going to take a look at something that I don't typically make a video on. As a Mac user, I don't have access to POB naturally. It is a Windows formatted application. So I have to find a workaround, and I found one. So if you're a Mac user who does not have a PC, but still wants to use Path of Building for Path of Exile 1 or 2, then this video is for you. First, we're gonna have to download Path of Building from the Path of Building website. If we just type into Google Path of Building, there should be a Path of Building website here. You can download both for Path of Exile 2 or Path of Exile. Both of these should work, but for testing sake, let's download the Path of Exile 1 since the new 3.27 patch is gonna come out soon. Once we have it downloaded, we can see that it downloaded to our files. We can go to our downloaded files and see it's an EXE. We can't open an EXE inside of Mac naturally. EXE is an extension that is Windows based. So what we're gonna need to do is run it through a program that reads Windows in Mac. And that's why I use Whiskey. Uh, this is not sponsored by them at all. Um, you can obviously see that it's no longer actively maintained. I think this will still still work. It still works for me. That just means there's not going to be any more updates, but it's a free to download program. I'm not going to show you how you need to download it. It should just work like any other application you need to run. It's safe. It's fine. You're not going to run into any problems. After it downloads, you can place it inside your desktop here and it'll come up with a window that looks like this. Now, I've already gone ahead and made several different bottles, is what the program calls it. What we're going to want to do once Whiskey downloads is um, you can see here that I have pre made ones I've done already, but we're going to simply just add a new bottle name. Now, this bottle name can be whatever you want. Um, for purposes of this, we can say Path of Building. POE1, and then if you have a 2, you can make a separate one if you want. Um, keep the Windows 10, fine. Just keep the bottle path, whatever it is, and we'll hit Create. This will start to create our own individual bottle. It's setting up the files in the background. What we're going to want to do before we run the program is let's open up our C drive here. This will tell us where the files that just downloaded for Whiskey just placed it. You can see it comes from the bottles inside you know, whiskey inside your containers, inside library, it, it, it's pretty deep down. So it's nice to have this open C drive to show you exactly where you're going to place your files. Now, what you're going to want to do is inside of program files, let's make a new folder named path of building. And I like to make it all capitalized. So I know that it's different within this folder. We're going to want to place the download that we got from the Path of Building website. Now I can find mine and downloads and I have mine set up to be recent date added. So all I'm going to do is drag it on over. OK, and then let's go back into the Whiskey platform and we're going to hit run. Now it's pulling from where the files are stored and you can see it's pulling. We can pull from the Path of Building and then once we click on the exe, Let's hit open. And now you can see we're setting up the path of building. Let's just agree to all of these things. Now, this step is extremely important. And let me show you what happens if you don't do this. Now, let's hit install, right? Let's just assume it knows what it's doing. Destination folder. Let's hit install. It's going to download and run path of exile finish. Good. Now you might see something pop up on screen and then immediately stop. Let's see if it does this. You can see it trying to run in the corner here. There you go. So we ran into a little bit of an error and this can be quickly fixed because the program doesn't know where it's supposed to be putting these folders because we moved it from the downloads. So Let's redo this. Let's run it again. Go to our program files, go to our path of building, go to the exe, open it on up. Next, let's agree. 
Now, now we're back to the community setup. Now, this is again really important to remember that this is all of the stuff that houses the information. So let's go to browse. And again, we're basically going to want to find where this is housed. This folder is housed within this. Now, this can get a little complicated, but if we expand this a little further, we're not in users. What we want to go up to is C, and we're actually in program files. So let's close this. Let's close the users. Let's open program files. You see we're in path of building. Let's put this inside of here. Once we're in path of building, let's hit OK. It'll make a subfolder, and then we hit install. It'll give it, give it just a second before it downloads everything. We can create a desktop shortcut if you want. Let's see if we can run the path of building. Go back to here. You can see in the corner that it's working. Give it a minute. And again, you see the little flash, which is fine. It just means that it's downloading. But now you can see that we have a little icon up here. And if you double click on this, now we have path of building in Mac. Okay, great. Now you have path of building inside of your Mac OS. If you want to download the path of building for POE2, it's going to be the same instructions. Just name them different if you don't want to get yourself confused. And if you have any comments on it or questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this info. And I'll see you guys in the new league.